Okay, easy setups. Here we go. Go over the first one. Both of these setups, well, both of the setups work from about the corner to the second left side of the tile here. A little further technically, but for the untargeted one, you kind of want to be right around here, the middle of this first tile, just to make it consistent. And then it'll make it the same digital cue as the other. Not that it'll matter if you choose one or the other, but anyways. Here we go. What I'm looking for is arrow keys. I'm looking at the top of the visible part of the draw, the bowstring, and lining it up with you got the three parts of the clock here on top, the three bubbles, and then there are lines in between these two bubbles. You want to line it up with the top right corner of the line of the, of the uh, bowstring with the line there on the clock. Just have to aim up and down for this. Turn your game up a little bit, way down. To right there actually. And you can do whatever movement over here you want. If you go more to the left, you're going to need you to adjust the visual cue a little bit. It's going to be you're gonna want the stick to go a little more to the left the further they go left. Now with the other untargeted setup method, the untargeted method, it doesn't matter where you are, the visual cue will be the same no matter where you are, as long as you're in a working position of course. So anywhere from like here to here ish. Do the thing, release the arrow. You want to make sure Link is not pulling an arrow. I forgot to mention that, but it should be relatively obvious. And same visual cue, you want the corner of the draw string, the pull string to be, the bow string to be to the left of that top bottle, or like on that line, basically, the corner of it. And voila, JLHF.